Morning Edition continues on 90.1 WABE. Let's also look at the Congress that the President's had to deal with. We're hearing from music director Robert Spano about the Atlanta Symphony Orchestra. Atlanta is a city of transplants, and there are people coming and going all the time. WABE is a way for new people to explore what's already here and for people who have been here a while to explore what's new. We doubled the size of our news staff in the past couple years, so we've really been enhancing our local news coverage. We have City Lights now, which is our arts and culture show. Kicking off its 2017 season. Surrounding myself with things I'm passionate about and then getting to share that with listeners. It's just a joy. We have Closer Look with host Rose Scott and Jim Burris. There's so many communities that have been overlooked for decades. And with Closer Look, we try to tell their stories. The major responsibility we have is not just to talk, but to listen. You can hear that come through on the radio. I mean, you can hear the passion of the reporters. Local news is important because it's what affects you every single day. We care about the community a lot, and that affects our reporting, the stories that we tell. Being at the town hall meetings, being at the city council meetings, people need to know, oh, they're going out in the community. They're just not coming in, sitting down at the mic and yapping. So it's nice to have both that strong local presence, which WABE supplies at an impressive level, as well as the national and international news that comes from NPR. You can listen to NPR for 30 minutes, and you could be all around the world, but still get the context of every place that you're in. 90.1 WABE. And it's kind of the glue that brings that together and hopefully gives people a better sense of the city where they live. WABE 90.1 where ATL meets NPR.